I, I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. Uh, I, I think he is very eager to tell his story. Drake. Oprah. Oprah. J-Lo. J-Lo. A-Rod. A-Rod. Will Smith. There's a saying, when the devil ignores you, then you know you're doing something wrong. Wait a minute, I'm not done now. <laughs> you know, the, the devil goes, oh no, leave him alone, man, he's my favorite. Hollywood's finest are in shambles, but none of this seems to bother Denzel Washington, or does it? Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. Will Smith and Diddy's scandalous freak-off footage is making waves in court, leaving fans and stars alike shocked. And with Denzel's deep connection to both men, how could he stay silent? For whatever reason, the devil got a hold of him that, of that circumstance that, that night. What's really going on behind the scenes? And how will Denzel react when everything comes crashing down? This, right here, could be the biggest bombshell in Hollywood history. Let's rewind a bit to a critical moment in recent Hollywood history, Will Smith's infamous Oscar slap. You remember it. The room was tense, and emotions were running high. But there, in the midst of it all, one man stood by Will Smith, Denzel Washington. While others were left in shock, Denzel and Tyler Perry pulled Will aside, offering support and guidance. Denzel's response was particularly noteworthy. On Good Morning America, he explained how he approached Will, telling him that, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. Denzel, known for his faith, didn't just comfort Will. He advised him like a brother, like a man of wisdom who's seen Hollywood's dark underbelly. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. But now that the tables have turned, and footage of Will allegedly attending one of Diddy's infamous freak-off parties has leaked, the big question is, how will Denzel react? Will his relationship with Will stay intact, or is this enough to sever even the strongest bonds? Before we dive further into Denzel's possible reaction, we need to understand the full extent of what's going on. Diddy, once a celebrated mogul, has been embroiled in controversy after controversy over the years. His freak-off parties, lavish, exclusive events filled with Hollywood's elite, are now the subject of court proceedings, and the leaked footage only adds fuel to the fire. Combs allegedly planned and controlled the performances, which he called freak-offs, and he often electronically recorded them. Interestingly, Denzel has commented in the past about his approach to Hollywood parties. In one viral clip, Denzel talks about leaving parties before the devil shows up. How you doing, Denzel? How you doing tonight, man? Looking good, Denzel, looking good. Denzel always told me we'd be at the parties. He said, you leave, leave 30 minutes for the devil get there. Was he subtly hinting at the darker side of these elite gatherings, like the ones hosted by Diddy? Fans are certainly making that connection now. This all comes at a time when Diddy is facing major legal issues. From ST ficking allegations to other disturbing activities, the mogul's reputation is in shambles. And now, with leaked footage connecting Will Smith to these parties, we have to wonder how much more dirt will surface. More importantly, what will happen when Denzel watches this footage? It's one thing to hear rumors about celebrities attending questionable parties, but it's another when hard evidence, like leaked footage, starts circulating. Will Smith, a man who once carried himself with an untouchable image is now embroiled in this mess. The leaked footage allegedly shows Will participating in activities that many would consider shocking, especially given his clean-cut public persona. For context, Will Smith and his wife Jada Pinkett have been accused of allegedly hosting gay parties at their home, with attendees being much younger men. These gatherings have been shrouded in secrecy, and it's rumored that only those who participate in them can advance their careers in Hollywood. In fact, Jaguar Wright has revealed that, that she witnessed young men screaming while leaving their house because both Jada and Will do weird things at their house during the mentorship. They're both they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. What's more, according to a YouTuber by the name Trisha Paytas, Will Smith allegedly made an unwelcome S advance towards one of his male dancers. Trisha even went so far as to claim in a now-deleted video on her YouTube channel that Will had essayed the dancer without his consent. She said, How about worry about f***ing cheating husband f 
my male dancers. Adding to the speculation about Will Smith's behavior, there have been some concerning incidents involving his son, Jaden Smith. On multiple occasions, Will has tried to kiss Jaden, and not on the cheek or forehead, but on the mouth, and Jaden seemed completely creeped out by it. Now we know that parents showing affection to their children is perfectly normal, but the way Will goes about it has raised some eyebrows. It's hard to ignore the fact that forcing a kiss on your child's mouth is a bit strange, to say the least. In any case, Denzel, as a man of faith and a father figure in Hollywood, must feel deeply disappointed. You see, he isn't just any actor. He's one of Hollywood's most respected figures. Known for his Christian faith, strong family values, and public integrity, Denzel has always walked a different path compared to many of his peers. He's openly discussed the importance of being a good father, advocating for strong family values, and putting God above fame. In a 2017 interview with CBN about his film Roman J. Israel Esquire, the two-time Academy Award winner shared profound insights into his spiritual beliefs and the philosophies that guided his life both on and off the silver screen. Denzel whose transformative performance in the 2017 film garnered critical acclaim, spoke passionately about the intersection of his Christian faith and his role as an actor. For him, faith wasn't merely a passive belief, it demanded action and activism. In his view, everyone possessed unique gifts, and it was the duty of individuals to utilize these gifts to make a positive impact in the world. You have to use your gifts, you know, faith without works. Is nothing. Denzel emphasized during the interview, highlighting the significance of pairing belief with action. However, he also acknowledged that not everyone needed to be an activist in the traditional sense. Denzel recalled a prophetic message from a woman who foresaw his global influence, not as a preacher in the pulpit, but as a speaker through his work. This revelation inspired him to use his platform in the entertainment industry to spread messages of hope, love, and faith. When Denzel questioned his pastor about his purpose, wondering if he was meant to become a preacher, the response was profound. You already have a pulpit. These words served as a powerful reminder that Denzel's influence and reach extended far beyond the confines of a church, permeating the hearts and minds of audiences worldwide. With humility and determination, he embraced his role as an agent for good, recognizing the profound impact storytelling could have on shaping perspectives and inspiring change. In the film, Denzel subtly nodded to scripture through the character's name, underlining the depth of his understanding of faith and its relevance in the contemporary world. This is funny just to think. Three Mondays ago, I didn't know either one of you. One of the central themes of the film was justice. Throughout the entire course of the story, Roman questions his own personal view of justice. The film delves into the profound disparity between man's view of justice and God's view of justice, highlighting that the two aren't always in alignment. God's justice, as depicted in the Bible, is always right and good, taking everything into account, and cannot be swayed or altered by human biases or prejudices. This powerful exploration of justice added layers of complexity to the character of Roman J. Israel, prompting viewers to contemplate the profound question of what constitutes true justice and righteousness in a flawed world. Roman J. Israel Esquire was not merely a cinematic masterpiece. It was a testament to Denzel Washington's dedication to using his craft as a force for positive transformation. As audiences immersed themselves in the film's narrative, they were confronted with profound questions about faith, morality, and the pursuit of justice. Denzel Washington's vision of God and the philosophies he abided by were intricately woven into the fabric of the movie, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers and reaffirming the enduring power of faith in the face of life's complexities. In any case, Washington has also opened up about his profound connection with spirituality and how it guided him away from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood parties. Denzel's story serves as a testament to the transformative power of faith and the unwavering influence of a spiritual encounter. Denzel reminisced about his upbringing, where his father, a devout man of God, instilled in him the values of faith and righteousness. This foundation would later play a pivotal role in shaping Denzel's character, especially during his early years in the entertainment industry. His spiritual awakening came in the early 1980s when he found himself at a crossroads, torn between the allure of Hollywood revelry and the call of his faith. It was a struggle familiar to many, a battle between the material world and the spiritual realm. Denzel candidly 
reportedly shared that he had several encounters with Faith, each time drawing him closer to the divine. One significant turning point occurred when he attended a church service with renowned director Robert Townsend. Denzel decided to surrender himself completely, stepping forward to the altar in a moment of profound vulnerability. In the prayer room, he experienced something inexplicable, a sensation of ascending into the air, his cheeks filled with an overwhelming presence. It was a supernatural experience, leaving an indelible mark on his soul. Despite this powerful encounter, Denzel confessed that he wasn't immediately prepared to fully embrace this newfound spirituality. He acknowledged the struggle within himself, attempting to reconcile his spiritual awakening with the temptations of the entertainment industry. Yet the memory of that transformative moment stayed with him, serving as a grounding force even in the face of immense fame and worldly distractions. Denzel's spiritual journey was not without its challenges. He candidly admitted to succumbing to the allure of materialism and indulging in what he refers to as spiritual muggings. However, in an industry where morality is often sacrificed for success, Denzel has remained true to his beliefs. He has spoken about how racism, for example, can be solved within the household and how faith is critical in staying grounded in Hollywood. With this in mind, it's no surprise that he might react strongly to the revelations surrounding Will Smith and Diddy. But this this isn't just about fame or money for Denzel. It's about standing on the right side of morality. With Diddy's dirty laundry being aired in court, Denzel might feel compelled to distance himself from both Diddy and Will. The leaked footage may have pushed things too far, even for someone as forgiving as Denzel. There's a saying, when the devil ignores you, then you know you're doing something wrong. Wait a minute, I'm not done now. <laughs> You know, the, the devil goes, oh no, leave him alone, man. he's my favorite. The leaked footage of Will and Diddy's freak-off parties doesn't just affect Denzel's personal relationships, it's sending shockwaves through Hollywood. Everyone's waiting to see who else might be implicated in this scandal, with rumors swirling about other celebrities attending these infamous parties. It's clear that the fallout from this leak is far from over. Many fans believe that Diddy, in his desperation to save himself, may start exposing others to cut a deal with the feds. Some are even speculating that Will Smith isn't the only major name that will be dragged down with Diddy. There are whispers that Diddy might start naming politicians and other celebrities involved in these parties. I, I, I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. Uh, I, I think he is very eager to tell his story. Drake. Oprah. Oprah. J-Lo. J-Lo. A-Rod. A-Rod. Will Smith. One of the most pressing questions now is whether Diddy will testify in court. If he does, the information he could reveal could tear Hollywood apart. Many people online are predicting that Diddy won't make it to the witness stand. They believe that, much like Jeffrey Epstein, Diddy might be taken out before he has the chance to expose everyone involved. Twitter is buzzing with conspiracy theories, and the belief that Diddy knows too much for his own good is widespread. There's even speculation that Diddy's decision to testify could lead to more deaths in Hollywood, as the secrets he holds are too dangerous. Fans are on high alert waiting to see how deep this rabbit hole goes, and whether Hollywood's elite will ever be the same. Finally, we come back to Denzel and Will. This scandal could be a breaking point in their relationship. Denzel has always been a beacon of support for Will, but the freak-off footage may have shifted things permanently. While Denzel is known for his forgiving nature, even he might have trouble standing by Will if these allegations are proven true. Fans are eagerly awaiting Denzel's reaction. Will he stay silent or will he publicly distance himself from Will Smith and Diddy? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure, Hollywood is holding its breath. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.